And I would say to start, the most important thing to consider is you have to really think hard about what you want your students to get out of the class. That is the most important thing. Because for a lot of us, I know when I was a beginning teacher, I didn't think of the class that way. I thought of the class in terms of the content I needed to teach. And I focused only on the, I focused only on the content. And we have a lot more goals besides the content. We, in physics, we, have, we want to just learn the content, of course, but we, want to think more, we need to think more carefully about what exactly do we want them to know about the content. So we want them to understand the concepts. We want them to know the basic concepts. We want them to know how and when they apply. We want them to make sure they can know how to use them in problem solving, that they know how to use the, the equations correctly, that they know how to use these equations as tools to, to analyze situations and to solve problems. Um, so we need to keep all those, things in, all those things in mind. We need to keep what I call the hidden curriculum, the goals that sometimes we don't, we sometimes forget to articulate to ourselves, but we're thinking them in the background, and sometimes we forget to articulate them to, to our students. So we really need to think carefully about everything we want students to get out of our course. That what a, success, what a student who is successful in learning what we want them to learn, what will, they be, what, what will they be able to do? What will they know? What skills will they have? And then we need to take that a step farther because that's fine. That's a good first step to thinking about how I want to, how I want to teach a course. And the first step in design is thinking about what do we want students to get out of it. The next step, because we're thinking broadly, is we need to narrow that down. We need to think, because it's one thing to say we want students to understand the concepts, but how do we measure understanding? That's very hard. So we need to refine that to something that we can actually measure. So we need to have competencies. And a competency is based on knowledge, skill, and attitude. And it also needs to be clear to the student. So a student can, I can state a, a competency to a student and they can say, I can do that or I don't know how to do that, but I can learn how to do that. Um, and it needs to be observable or measurable. If I can't observe it or measure it, it's not a good competency. And so we, we need to be careful with the verbs. In order to do that, we need to use the verbs from Bloom's Taxonomy, because uh, that's, that's what those are. Those are, those are verbs that define actions that we can measure and observe.